all you shining stars welcome to my channel shining star soup uh today's what's the soup saturday is going to be a little bit of a comparison video i have two products here that um are very interestingly similar and when i start to explain why i think in my opinion that they're very similar products Hopefully you'll agree with me. If you don't, well, thanks for watching the video anyway. So the two products that I have, um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about both. And I'm actually going to do, I'm actually going to put on the product um, kind of half, half, half. I'm going to do a, a, half, a half face. All right. So um, my left you're seeing on your right and my right you're seeing on your left because the camera is like a, a mirror image. <laughs> yeah, my, my eyes are blue and I, I blame the, um, the painting. <laughs> anyway, all right, getting getting going here. Got to make sure everything is out of the way. All right, so I have, um, and I, I apologize in advance if I say any of these brands wrong. I could be pronouncing them wrong right from the get-go. Who knows? Um, one of my favorite brands, and a little bit of a confession, and why I even noticed this brand was because about four years ago at this point, I started, I joined a top box circle, and one of my first missions was like five products from Vichy. They sent me the whole kit and caboodle like it was over $250 worth of products free for me to review and I genuine, genuinely um, gen, genuinely gen, gen, genuinely genuinely <laughs> loved the products so I'm, I'm a, a big fan of them uh, and the product that I'm comparing today one of them is the Vichy Mineral uh, 89 now this is uh, I did pick this up at Shoppers and this is a 50 mil here. And um, basically what this is, it's, it's, it's a skin booster. Um, and according to the website, it um, protects against aggressors like pollution, cold weather, boosts hydration to replenish the skin moisture bar barriers so that your skin feels more hydrated, uh, plumped and toned. And um, I, I didn't notice a difference with this product, and I actually really enjoy this particular product. Uh, according to the sales clerk at Shoppers, they also mentioned how um, it would boost the effect of uh, serum, and I, I just really enjoy the product, so this is definitely, like, I've already halfway used this, and this is about probably my, my third bottle. Um, it is a bit expensive for this guy. This 50 mil costs $55.95. And when I tell you what I found out um, in regards to uh, this, this bottle, is that you're actually getting more value with the product I'm comparing this to, which if you read the description, obviously you know. Um, I haven't even opened this bottle yet. This is 150 mil uh, Tatcha, the essence. And the reason why I decided to compare these ones is because they're, they're very similar. While the Vichy uses high, high, I'm sorry if I mispronounce anything, a hyaluronic acid, uh, the essence uses, um, lactic, 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 lactic acid. So that's one thing. However, like the Vichy, um, this essence is a skin boosting. It's a skin booster as well, just like the Vichy. Um, and uh, this one boasts being hydrating, just like the Vichy, and softening, which the Vichy doesn't boast um, in their claims, just that it kind of protects, um, it plumps the skin and makes the skin look more toned. Whereas um, your Tatcha will uh, soften, but apparently, allegedly, also plump the skin. Now, Tatcha is not cheap, as you know, and um, the Essence actually costs $143 on Sephora website. Like, that is a lot of money to drop all at once. However, I bought this one on Poshmark, and it only cost me $67, and that was with shipping and handling. Um, I do shop Poshmark. I do sell on Poshmark as well. 
and Poshmark, their shipping has gone up. So shipping alone was $13, it was $14 for the shipping. But when, I mean, I couldn't pass up a deal because I ended up paying even with shipping less than half um, than I would if I would have gotten it brand new off of Sephora. The only thing I'm missing obviously is the extra bonus uh, Sephora rewards points. So that's um that's another story but what i didn't realize was that this the tatcha is actually cheaper than vichy when comparing the milliliters now this vichy is 50 milliliters it costs 55 dollars and 95 cents before taxes so you would need to buy three of these 50 ml bottles to equal the volume that you're getting in the Tatcha. And to get three of these before taxes is $167.85. So if I wanted to get the same volume that I'm getting with Tatcha, I would have to buy three of these bottles and it would end up costing me um, like 20 bucks more. Yeah, $24 more to go with the Vichy. So just kind of food for thought when you're comparing um, when you're comparing the volume and the, and the effects. So different acids, both boasting kind of the same, well, the same boosting treatment claims as well as hydrating claims. Uh, they both come in glass bottles, but um, the Vichy is um, not quite as thick glass as the Essence is. Now, a lot of people, um, as far as their review goes, um, out of 4,991 reviews on, on uh, Shoppers Drug Mart, this got a 4.4 stars, whereas the Tatcha Essence got a 4.2 out of 2.5K reviews. Um, so when basing it on that, obviously the Vichy is more highly reviewed, but you can't always trust reviews. Um, and that's the thing, especially when they're on brand websites, um, some reviews are um, incentivized as well as some of the views are like based on shipping, like maybe somebody got a Tatcha bottle and it was broken or they didn't like that they couldn't get a refund because they felt it didn't work for them. Um, when it comes to reading reviews, you have to take reviews as um, with a grain of salt because every experience is going to be personal and, and different. So I, you know, I'm really excited to um, just to, to see if there's, if I can feel any, um, any difference. And I will do the Vichy on my, my right, you're seeing it on the left, and the Tatcha on the right, which is my left. Yeah, so Vichy and Tatcha. Um, right now, all I wanted to um, do as far as uh, the review part goes is just to feel how this applies because I haven't even opened the essence yet. So as I was saying, we'll start off with Vichy. Um, the Mineral 89, they also came out with um, moisturizer, uh, moisturizer as well, which is actually pretty exciting. I do find that it does like spread really really easily. However, it is a bit sticky, uh, sticky going on. And you are only supposed to use two drops. So I used one drop there. And it's kind of hard for me to do this without looking at a mirror in front of me. And honestly, I did notice, um, I, I've, had, I've had more experience using Vichy. And I, I enjoyed it enough that I had to, you know, get um, another bottle. But when you take into comparison, like I said, the mills that you're getting is uh, the Vichy is actually working out to be more expensive. All right, so it absorbs really, really quickly into the skin. However, it is sticky. It's not fully dried yet, obviously, but it is um, sticky. And the glass bottle is not as heavy as the Tatcha. Let's see if I can get this to... I turned off my autofocus on my Logitech and I'm hoping that it stops the little <laughs> sound that I could hear. Maybe you couldn't hear it in my last two videos, but I certainly could and I didn't like that. 
All right, now um, we're going in with the Tatcha, and the Tatcha is kind of the same the same um, deal where you're a lot more um, fancy ingredients. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this. This is made in Japan, and I got it. Like I said, I ordered it off of Poshmark, and I got it for 60 something bucks, which is a lot cheaper than the $143. Now, the real question is, would I use this? Even would I repurchase this? such a solid bottle, uh, paying regular price for it. I don't know. Like when I can buy this, even though I'm not getting as much product for $55 or spring for the $143, uh, this essence is really going to have to wow me. Again, the beach is still a little sticky. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, I remember it's an interesting, interesting looking uh, bottle. I, I'm glad that my Poshmark seller was honest. Like it, you saw, it was sealed. It wasn't open. No cracks, didn't leak. All right. And I'm just going to, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Oh, okay. I'm going to put on about as much as I used of the, uh, she and I'm putting this okay so right off the bat the consistency is definitely more watery more liquid I'm noticing a difference in I guess I want to say the texture right away like this is gliding on spreading on a lot more nicely uh, more smoothly not sticky at all not sticky it's almost cooling to the skin. Okay. All right. I don't even think I might have uh, put on a little bit too much. But again, I'm only doing one half of the face. So this one, I'm just going to put that on my neck because I don't want to waste it. It's a piece of stuff. Okay. So even with that short demonstration, um, wow, I really got to say it, uh, right off the bat, I do prefer the Tatcha. Now it's only been like 30 seconds, but, uh, the texture, the consistency, um, Vichy, much thicker formulation, much more sticky formulation. And even like right now, just the way it feels, it feels heavier. It feels like I can actually feel that I put booster treatment on my skin, on my face. The Tatcha, however, uh, glided on like water, which I, I, I actually like that. Um, it spread a lot easier. Um, like this one is a little goes a long way, even more than a little goes a long way with the beachy. And like I mentioned, this isn't sticky at all. And I don't know if you can really tell, but the Tatcha side seems, uh, soft, softer, softer, softer to the touch on the Tatcha side and on the beachy side. Uh, it's rough. It's tighter. And they did mention that in the reviews or not in the reviews in the product description. Uh, Vichy does mention that it's gonna, your skin's gonna feel more hydrated, plumped and toned. It definitely feels toned. And because I'm feeling more of the toned toniness of it rather than the softness of it. Again, I'm, I'm preferring the Tatcha. Uh, the touch aside, which, which feels, you know, a lot softer and, and okay. Touch of winds. Oh, oh. I, I can't really put into words how much I'm preferring the touch on my face, uh, right now. And to me, I understand now, I understand the, uh, the positive reviews, not really the negative reviews, uh, but 
I think the biggest issue is with the essence is the initial price. A lot of people, you know, uh, myself included, uh, I wouldn't have tried this at full price. Again, I went on Poshmark and I got it for $67. And, but like, I think it's worth 143. And once I'm done this bottle, which considering how little you use and how much it is, this bottle will probably last me three months, maybe, maybe, maybe more. And this is definitely worth the repurchase to the point that I'm retiring my, my Vichy 89 and that's how impressed I am with the Tatcha. Yeah, I, I'm retiring this. I I'm replacing, I'm replacing the Tatcha or I'm replacing the Vichy with, um, the Tatcha. So yeah. Pacha, um, proof is in the pudding, proof's in my face, my soft face, where I'm going to wash off this, and I'm sticking to the Tatcha. I, I, I've been, not transitioned, I've been, um, not, tra I, I've been, I've been switched. I don't know, there's a term I'm looking for that I can't think of right now, but if you haven't tried it, and you... Go look, go look on Poshmark. Go do what I did. Go look on Poshmark. Um, the lady I bought this from actually is uh, still selling it on the day that I'm filming. And it's May 19th. And by the time this video goes up, it won't be closer to like the beginning of June. She might have it, but just search Tatcha the Essence and make an offer. Uh, she had it listed for $65. I offered $50 and she took it. I didn't think she would, but she did. So there you go. All right. Final push mark. Try it out for yourself and then decide if you want to make the splurge by purchasing it on Sephora. But in my opinion, 100% worth it.